Hey guys, in this video, we will talk about CSS properties, caret, caret color and caret shape. So in this video, we are going to discuss how this property works in CSS. So caret in CSS is a shortened property that combines the caret color and caret shape properties into a single declaration. But right now, this caret property is not supported by any of the browsers. So it is still in uh, you can say um, in development version right so you can use caret color and caret shape is also in development version so none of the browsers is supported okay so right now we can have a look of all these three properties so first of all let's go to our html and start creating one form so uh, we don't need to add any form we can add simple column so columns and in that we will add one column with some class let's say is four that will be uh, a small div okay and here we can add one label let's say username okay and we will also add attribute four here let's add input type is equal to text let's add some placeholder add your username here okay and id attribute with username okay so here let's add one class as well let's add class input okay so it will create one input box okay so right now you can see the cursor the caret is in black color right so using caret color css property we can change that okay so first of all let's add one class let's add username for example the class and in css let's select target that class okay so right now we can use caret color and let's make it red okay so you can see once you change it and click you can see the cursor is now red right so basically what we do we add this caret color property on focus pseudo selector so let's refresh and when you click here it will focus this input and you can see this is red now okay let's change it to something else so you can see how this property works so you can see now the color is kind of yellow green okay so this is a caret color property that you can use to change the color of your caret you can say the cursor okay so we can add some uh, animations as well so let's start adding one animation for that okay here what we can do we can add animation and you can give animate three seconds for example and infinite loop it will be uh, it will animation will work for infinite times and let's give some uh, animate animate me the animation name okay so let's start creating animation using keyframes keyframes our keyframe name and let's add at zero percent at zero percent we will add one property caret color for example orange okay and let's add at 20 percent when it will animate 20 percent we can add as red all right at 40 percent at 40 percent we can add caret color let's say green okay and okay at 60 percent we can add caret color to purple okay at 80 percent you can add caret 
carrot color as and at hundred percent net carrot color as you can say um, yellow. Okay, and let me remove this carrot color property from here, so you can see how animation works. Okay, so let's refresh and see. So now, okay, so now you can see the cursor is changing its color using animation so you can see blue red purple yellow red okay so this is how you can use this animation property to animate your cursor okay so this is very useful uh, sometimes you need to create such kind of uh, html where you want to use such, uh, such animations okay so this was using carrot color so carrot shape so this carrot shape property is not supported right away but hopefully we will be able to uh, use that property in near future okay so carrot shape property change, changes the shape of the text cursor inside any editable element so right now you can see it is horizontal uh, not horizontal it is a vertical line right so there are few properties that you can use like carrot shape can be block or bar or underscore so right now it is uh, you can say um, let me open so this is example of bar you can see the default one is bar okay so once this carrot shape property will be um, supported by our browsers we can use this property to change our cursor shape so now you can see here in this example the cursor is underscore so once it is supported you can use this property to make cursor like underscore okay and let's talk about caret property so once it is supported you can use this property like caret and the value of the caret property will be like the first value will be carrot color let's make it red and second will be carrot shape you can make it underscore right so right now let's check if it is working right now let's open and inspect so let let me focus okay so once you focus you can see this carrot property is there but it is not known so it is not working right so once it is supported by our browsers you can use like this the carrot color and shape using this short uh, shorthand carrot property okay so this was a, a quick overview of carrot carrot color and carrot shape please note that right now this carrot color is only supported okay all right guys so this was all for this video if you are new to my channel you can visit my channel there are more than 200 videos and you can visit my playlists as well you can check the playlist for css properties there are more than 39 videos at this moment please save this playlist and you can go through all the videos so you will have the idea of css properties apart from that you have um, options to check out the javascript videos as well there are more than 40 javascript videos uploaded with few uh, really really uh, you can say important for your interviews as well so you can have a look on those as well so overall there are more than 200 videos including node.js uh, there are few videos on wordpress as well and yep if you like this video please hit the subscribe button and see you next time around Bye.